Hey, it's Chris Lipper, and the other day we had this little hurricane without a lot of news beforehand. It really wasn't much of anything, caused a whole lot of damage. So I'm sitting out on my porch in the middle of a hurricane. It's not much of a hurricane, but we are getting some puffs of air and uh, some wind and some rain coming in. Uh, we, will, we will totally survive this one, but um, it's kind of nice. It's kind of fun. It's taken a little bit of the humidity out of the air and hopefully that'll stay like that. We're kind of waiting to see if a nice puff of air might come by, get some wind going, cause that's pretty exciting stuff when it hits. But now it's just like rain. You can see we've got the river going on in front. Let's zoom in on that. Um, not much happening, but Getting some bands of rain. It's kind of fun. Different. Uh, trees out front are starting to blow a little bit. Uh, trees up top are blowing a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. Trees are dancing. I don't know, I'm digging it. Tapestries are blowing. Oh, there we go, we got some wind happening now. Eh, not much, it was better before. All right, we may have to revisit this in a little bit. Pretty uneventful. And two seconds later, the rain picks up a bit. So we're getting some rain and some wind now. It's still pretty disappointing. All right, we'll come back. So this is wild. I'm in the middle of a hurricane, in the middle of a pandemic, and all of a sudden the winds were really picking up and I heard something blow, some kind of transformer, but I mean, how cool is this that I get to be in a meeting, I get to be tracking a hurricane, and I get to be eating my vegan lunch. Oh, winds are picking up again. We may get to see something. See the trees are dancing. Trees inside and out are dancing. I had rain coming in the patio windows a second ago. One horizontal. Oh, we had something going on on the side of the road over here. Somebody's pulled over, something's happening. Maybe that's what I heard. Oh, we got cars stopped, people out of cars. Not sure what's going on. All cool and fun. All right, to be continued. So the wind is picking up, I'm hearing trees crack and things are definitely happening a little bit. Wind's picking up, sirens are going, power's in and out. Shit's happening. Wind's really picking up. Here, there's tornado warnings. Warnings.
pick up just the wind. Storm's almost passed. Here it comes. Not sure what I'm waiting for, but it's just picking up pretty good. And there go the alarms again. I wonder if those are tornado sirens. It's pretty. It's going pretty good now, inside now. Power's out. Hey, it's Chris Lipper in New Jersey, and as many of you know, we had this little hurricane that went through yesterday and did a hell of a lot of damage. I couldn't even walk around the block. There were so many trees down. We haven't had power or internet or anything, and I hear it's pretty bad everywhere. Uh, I'm getting scattered messages on the phone. The governor said there was um, a million people without power and just to be patient. Well, I've got a prescription to pick up, so I'm gonna to head to CVS on my bike and see how that works out. Um, and uh, report along the way if I see anything interesting. So stay safe. Now we've got even more stuff going on. Uh, first we had COVID idiots and COVID. Now we have hurricane and power lines down and all that stuff. It was weird, the fire department was just driving around last night like looking for, they didn't know where to start to help people. It was bizarre. All right, bye. All right, well, we tried. I made it to CVS, which is over there. And now I can see why they're not answering their phones and nothing is open because apparently their power's out. So I couldn't figure out why that road was closed. And how does that even happen? How does that just topple off with nothing hitting it. Kind of weird. All right, heading back. Good thing it was a nothing prescription. It's just eardrops. Uh, I have AirPod ear, ear infection of some type. All right, TMI. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, I guess now we know how that could happen. So again, here's the CBS. And here's the intersection I had to cross, which is closed. And here's the power line that's down. And then here's the tree that took down the power line. So we're seeing a lot of that going on out here. And uh, stay safe, bye.
So it's a weird mix out here. We got people conducting regular business. Here's a restaurant getting ready to open and cleaning their windows. And I've passed other people who have their landscapers cutting their grass. And then you see houses with trees across their front lawns. So it's a weird mix, but we'll keep riding and keep reporting. I don't know why, but I guess I've become the roaming reporter somehow. So right around the corner from where we saw that store opening, here we've got a tree that looks like it hit someone's house. And you're hearing the sound of chainsaws and generators all over the place. There's another power line down, down there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's kind of debris everywhere. We'll keep moving. There's another big one snapped in half, and if I'm not mistaken, that's my friend Dennis's house uh, in Mountain Lakes. So you can hear the generators going. There's no power here either. Um, it's kind of spooky. Hey, it's Chris Lipper, self-proclaimed roaming reporter covering the hurricane, uh, and I am at the RFL Fields uh, in Booton, where and it's kind of upper Booton, I guess and there's so many trees around here and nothing no damage at all there was one branch down by the entrance i ride my bike in um and you, this is one of the windier spots in new jersey i ride my bike here all the time and rfl as you'll see is where jimmy doolittle um created and invented the radar for airplanes and they picked this spot because it's so windy and there's the right kind of wind in the right directions and they would taxi this way and take off that way um and no trees down so i'm wondering if all the damage we got maybe was from a tornado and not a hurricane just a thought chris lipper roaming reporter